Yabba dabba do, internet, I'm back, and better than ever. This YouTube channel is supposed to be me having ideas and chucking them out into the world, not worrying too much about them. And here I am worrying about them a lot. In the last couple months, I've uh, had a lot of ideas and I've done none of them. So here we are. I had an idea the other day. We're doing it. We're ideaing in real life now. The idea is making a patch on a synthesizer just while kind of talking. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I like sitting around making patches on synthesizers. And so we're going to sit around and make a patch on a synthesizer and talk about it and just see where it gets us. All right, let's hit it. All right, fellas, here we go. Uh, by the magic of Hollywood movie magic, uh, here we are back at the ranch. Anyway, uh, elephant in the room, new synthesizer. You got some dust down here. Other elephant in the room. I didn't hit record on the video part of this the first time I did it. So it was a good practice. It was a good run around the uh, mill, so to speak. Uh, there's dust all over this guy. I talked about that the first time, how I was like, ooh, dusty boy. Uh, this synthesizer. I know I just said all over the world, don't buy a bunch of stuff, make stuff with what you got. I know this is a different synthesizer than the one I said I had in the video. It's over there. Unosynth Pro. I've had a lot of fun with it. It's still here. I'm still playing with it. It's a great synthesizer. You can't see my face. Hey, hey, hey. Because I only have one camera, which is my telephone. So I have one telephone. So still, uh, the message still stands. Don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff. But this synthesizer actually kind of found me in a way... So I don't feel bad. What is this? How did that get in there? My word. Sorry about that, fellas. You can turn off the, the program if you need to. So anyway, I go to a thrift store. They've got a big old Insonic VFX SD, the one you saw in my YouTube long video that I made previously. My dog's there with me. We're playing the keyboard. It sounds cool. I overlaid some snow to show you guys that I learned how to do that because it was also snowing outside at the time. But I go into the thrift store, I find it, the big old Insonic keyboard. And to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of old synths. They sound cool, they're fun, but at the same time, you could turn it on and then it'll give you a message that says, warning, battery acid is now the whole synthesizer, doesn't work, fix it. And I didn't want to fix it. So I found a dude nearby that likes the old Insonic keyboards, got a bunch of them. And he said, I don't have that one yet. I'll trade you for this. Well, I actually initiated the trade. I said, will you take this for the Minilog XD? And he said, yes. And this is uh, newer and it works and it doesn't give me problem. The other one did not give me problem either. Other guy just knew what he was doing and was less scared of it. So there you have it, folks. It was a good deal. So I picked it up and then I traded it. And now I'm hyped because I've enjoyed this synthesizer quite a bit. So today on... The uh, program, we're going to try to make a patch. We're going to make a brass sounding patch that doesn't sound like this. I think it's just some saw waves. So we're going to, nope, it was already on saw. We're going to leave them in the same spot. Got to turn the second oscillator up. Make sure the pitch is none. Yeah, I don't think we want any, uh, any detuning effects on this one. We want them to be regular. Is that it? Is that the G whatever seven? Yeah, it is. All right. So here we go. Got the two boys. I'm going to try to talk while I'm doing this, uh, but you know, it's going to go kind of wild. So I didn't call this patch cast. I kind of wanted to, but I learned that there's a podcast out there called the patch cast. So I'm going to let them do their thing. We're not going to steal their name or anything. It's not like I'm Whoopi Goldberg on the set of Little Rascals or anything. So I don't really hold any weight. But yeah, that's it. I'm just going to talk and make a patch. So I, without further ado, we're going to turn this down. That's too far. Give them a little bit of resonance. I turn the cutoff, the low pass filter. So it's going to shave off the top end. I assume if you're here, you know a little bit about a synthesizer. So that's kind of nice though right there, eh? Oh, my goal for today, I didn't tell you, is make kind of a brassy sounding patch. I know a lot of that comes from FM synthesis. But there are also some analog boys out there. Like, uh, what's that one song that everybody loves, that uh, I love especially? So give him one of these, huh? give him one of these. 
Did I ever turn the release up? What is that? We'll, we'll, we'll play it when we get closer, but... There's a song, In the Coop, by Harrison. Excellent song. It jams harder than any song I've ever heard in my life. I exaggerate a little bit, but at the same time, I don't, because that song rips. That's what all the kids are saying nowadays. Instead of cool, I'm like Mr. Krabs saying coral. I'm ruining it for everyone. Okay, so if we're going brass, we're going to need a little bit of attack here on the envelope generator. Now, on the envelope, they took away from Minilog XD on the normal Minilog. They, le they gave you the sustain and release on the... Uh, Envelope, the filter envelope as well, instead of just the old ADSR amp EG, like you see there, the amp egg, as the kids are saying. But, uh, so I don't know if that really means anything to me, or not, but that's a little too wah 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 yeehaw on the end there. So we're going to turn the yeehaw down a little bit. Maybe a little less on the filter. A little less on the high end there. We'll turn that boy back up. All I want is something that I can just chuck a bunch of reverb and delay at and say, hey, I'm having a good time here, fellas. You know what I mean? Just like our, our brother Korg intended. Now, I do know a little bit about music theory. I'm not just noodling, even though I am just noodling. But... You'll notice I play a lot of the old Seven Boys because they sound real good. With, uh, you know, I don't know, they're just fun chords to make a ba 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 kind of thing, you know? They're also just easy, you know, you just... Any orangutan in the, you know, can figure it out. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I do want that, actually. Because that gives it a nice bottom end there. a little bit. Eh, that's a little too much yeehaw. Make sure this is on the cutoff there. Because if it's on the pitch, it goes... Well, which is actually pretty sick. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> it's like we're playing lemmings and they're all stuck. They all fall off the cliff. Okay, anyway, cut off. We're back. We're serious. This is a serious program. make it sound like brass though Maybe give it a little key track huh you might be saying hey brother you're just hitting the button twice you're just doing this but that's because i haven't hit that yet so it was uh, it was in the up on position but it was actually in the down off position because i hadn't done anything about it that's a pretty fun bernie warrell moment right there the uh no oh, bernie warrell would never have that much release on a You're all very impressed. I can feel it by my in incredible keyboard playing skills. I we I, I would like to play the keyboard better, as probably all of us would, to be honest. If you're a synthesizer boy, and you also hit that piano like a champion. Shout out to you, man. I'm proud of you. Okay. It's a little too much. into that though that's nice that's a nice uh okay let's uh this is not sounding more like brass i'm embarrassing myself and everyone i know right now it needs to have that run that barely the give it the barely uh Too. 
But that's it. I uh, said it last time, and I need to say it again. I need to make sure that you all know I'm no professional over here. I dink around, and I've dinked around non unprofessionally for my entire life. So if you have any suggestions, if you're like, hey, you could do this to make a better uh, brass sound, then you're good to go, man. Then please help. I'll take any help you got. The sun has come out. The moon has gone up and somebody long ago left with the cup and a better. Shout out to all my fellas out there. All right. No, I think we're going the wrong way. I'm, I'm tweaking the same couple things here, so let's tweak something else. Bam, 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 bam. Maybe I got to play that, the trumpet song. Okay. A little more. Turn the yeehaw all the way up, see what that does. Kind of fun, kind of fun. Give him the big attack. Mega Decay there. This is where the sustain and release coming in. That'd be real handy here, uh, internet. Uh, make it happen. You know, it's uh, funny. The first time I did this, before I forgot to record, I said, uh, easy, I'll do it again. No problem. I'll get right back to where I was. Oh, no, there we go again. I turned the LFO on. And you know what? I'm not confident now that I'm going to get back to where I was. Look at that 50% 50 there. We'll give him maybe a little drive just because I can. And then we'll do this. Sorry for all the fellas out there that are supposed to be sleeping and are in elementary school, and then your parents said, hey, what was that rant noise that I just heard from under your blanket? And you're hiding under there with your phone. I can see it. So we'll turn the drive off for those guys in solidarity. Okay. Uh, does that give me the... Not too much decay. Why does that still sound like... Oh, because the resonance is at 100%. Yeah, this is, uh, that's a nice patch here, but it's going significantly worse than last time. That's kind of, that's kind of, uh, brassy. As I promised, here it is. What is it? Yeah, In the Coop, Harrison, check it out. Yeah, new album come out, sick. It sounds like a mixture of The Peanuts, Hey Arnold, and uh, that's it. It's got some rap going on, too. But I asked Harrison, hey, how'd you make that sound in the, in the Coop? is so, so good. And he said, uh, Prophet 5 emulation by Arturi. And I said, hey, I'm not going to do it. Now I don't remember what I have said on each iteration of this, but if I already said that this time, you're welcome. You heard it twice. This is not very brassy. Well, I mean, you hear that. Let's, uh, let's Google it. Let's see what Google says. Let me see if I can add another audio track and have it record. Oh, I can't have it record the whatever. I'll just put it in and post. You know what? Me, just put it in later, huh? Just put it in later, whenever you get a chance. YouTube, uh, then we're going to go analog synth brass. Here we go. How to make a synth brass patch with Ableton Analog. I just want to hear it real quick. No, not welcome back. Just, just play it. Push the tag up a little bit? I already know that. Do you ever play it for me? Okay, okay, so he's doing a little more of the yeehaw than I was. He's leaving this open a little more. The attack here. No. OK, 
Okay, so I guess I just forgot what synth brass sounded like. I have one very specific sound in my head that's not happening. But I think that's good. I think we did it. Now let's do this, because I thought about it earlier, and I want to... That's not it. That's very much so not it. Those are two fun chords. Two very fun. So we can do this. Boom. Uh, What were we saying? This? Yeah, we were saying that. We were saying that in the release. And then this guy will go the two chord special. Turn the tempo down a lot. 60.5. Repeating, of course. Uh, here we go. Turn that release up. Turn that tempo up, actually. And then give him some of this. Uh, keyboard not happy about that because it's a four voice uh, polyphonic synthesizer like it says which means I can play four notes at once there's four notes there's four notes so if I start can't play five on that one step so you gotta be careful there but I can do that should we give it a little noise I've been going through this phase where I put noise on everything oh actually Maybe, nah, I don't like how it just shows up and then takes off real quick. You want it to hang out with you a little bit. No, sorry, noise. You're out this time around. Let's just see what we can do here. Turn the sink off. Your sink's running. Look out. Turn the sink back on. I think that sounds better. I don't know. Turn that ring on. Turn the sink off. Sounds a little sadder to me. What is that? It's not it's not thrilled and neither am I. It sounds upset, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. And then you pour demento. You just let it go. That really doesn't work how I thought it would. <laughs> okay, now is when we like I said previously. Stop, stop, stop. Now I want to play around. This is how I will end the segment here, end the whole video, because it's already been like 100 minutes. I'm going on 25 hours here, and we need to stop. Yeah, 20 minutes about. I just did the old pee into the micro. <laughs> I peed on the microphone there. So you got a nice big old, uh, you know, sibilance. So let's. Uh, this is how we're going to play it out. I'm going to probably go ARP latch here. ARP latch and we're gonna say uh effects so here's me playing us out thank you for showing up if you made it to the end you probably didn't so uh see you later fellas if you did leave an f in the chat for all the homies that didn't make it all the way to the end too low too low stop 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 right there there it is isn't that nice that's an all right sound there i'd say change the delay every time to tape just because it sounds like tape and then you... I think I changed it, but we're not going to go back. We're going to go up another one, though. Space reverb. And then you just have it do this. Sorry to all the kids under their blankets again. We're turning the drive on because we can.
kind of sounded like a train there at the end. Anyway, fellas, see you later.